Cole feels confident. Does Brian feel confident? We're back. That's right. The re-entry buzz. This is season three, episode nine. This is really where it comes down to either Cole loses or Cole has a chance at winning. Uh, <laughs> so we're glad you guys are here. You know how it goes. Uh, blind tasting competition, usually about 10 minutes, short form episode. Uh, what we have in front of us is pretty dark. That's all I got to say. It was bottle or, or sample number 233. Who knows what that really represents? That is dark. Look at that. And my drinking buddy. Um, <laughs> So, join us here as we take our first sip, our first sniff. Hey, maybe we'll tell you how much we'd pay for it based on that, and then we'll get into the guesses and the notes. So, here we go. First sniff and sip. Okay, okay. <sighs> smells rich. It does smell rich. That's the word. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Wow is right. Wow is right. It's super unique. Um, wow is dang. right. Uh, I think this okay. is right up your alley. Yeah. I can already tell. This is all cool. right. How much would you pay? Is it two twenty five? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, how much would I pay? It's good. That's real good. Man. Uh, I'm having a hard time. Uh, because, like, I think it's super good, but mm -hmm. I think I'm easily high 100s. Mm -hmm. I'm going to rein it in a little bit, and I'm going to say 180. Nice. I'd say 130. 30, 30, 30. Yeah, 130. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. With that, we will take our sips, we'll take our notes, we'll take our guesses, and we'll be right back, and you can hear all about it. All about it. Here we go. We're back. Cole feels confident. Does Brian feel confident? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but let's go through some of our notes. Brian, would you mind starting out on the notes for us? Yes. So on the nose, I wrote punchy red fruit Ooh. and spicy oak. Ooh, different than on me. On the palate, I wrote the I wrote that the landing tastes extremely aged. Like right off the bat, I'm like huge really? age. And then uh, sweet fruit comes in later with plenty of spice. So a lot. Okay. Of a, a good balance of spice and sweet fruit at the same time. And then on the finish, uh, I wrote that there was a big spice uh, and then a balance, like as it fades, sweet, sweet tannic oak. So just huh. like, again, tons of oak, because I think that this is aged, very yeah. aged. Interesting. Interesting. I'll go with my notes. On the nose, I said depthful, depthful, if that's a word. Brown sugary, rich, not sure if a bourbon or a rye, just based on the nose, but it might be finished. On the palate, I said this is so cinnamony in an almost in almost a evergreen cedary way. Reminds me of Driftless Glen because of that. Ooh. Uh, great and not overwhelmingly potent in those notes, though. Uh, does not read Amburana to me in that cinnamon. Uh, not synthetic enough, I said. On the finish, I said cinnamon and sweet, but not like pure red hots or anything like that, but nice and subtle cinnamon notes. They fade beautifully. Maybe a little synthetic sweet on the on the finish, though. That's what I said. Do you want to go no or guesses first or me? Sounds good. I'll go. Okay. So for type, I said bourbon. Oh, secondary grain, I said rye because oh. uh, yeah, the spiciness. I it's it seems like there's rye here mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. 
for a distillery, I kind of panicked and I put Woodford Reserve. I Ain't don't have stressing. a good justification. I uh -huh. don't have a good justification behind this. Yeah. So for proof, I said 122. Okay. High, but not too high. Mm -hmm. For age, though, for age, I said 13. I feel okay. like this is like 10, 12 plus. Uh -huh. And for finished, I said no. For bottle, I said Woodford Reserve Batch Proof, oh. which has not hit me in the same sentiment level as this mm -hmm. has, but whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, but I did really, really like this, though. I gave it a mm -hmm. score of an A. I withheld the plus because it lacks the well-roundedness that mm -hmm. I want to typically award to pluses, but yeah. it is punchy. It is flavorful it is it hits me like a stag does nice. i think that the the potency here is right at my alley for what nice. i what i want in terms of how intense i want a sip to be so it it tastes intense but it tastes well aged at the same time do you change your spend money yes Oh, uh, you know, like I do feel like I'm maybe a little higher around 200. I, I do feel like in, in that, like if I didn't know what this was and somebody let me have a sip and, yeah. or a couple sips, I guess, uh, I, and they said, you could have a bottle if you give me $200 right now, I'd probably be like, ah, screw it. Let's, let's go for it. <laughs> go for it. So yeah, let's raise it a little bit to 200. We are very different, me and you, on this one specifically. So there's going to be an obvious winner. I have a feeling on this one. I said rye as the type. I said secondary grain, malty bees. Uh, distillery. I kind of just felt like this was Driftless Glen. This reminds me of that episode we did for Driftless Glen. Nice. Cedary, spicy, cinnamony in a i do really love your cinnamon note by the way mm -hmm. uh proof oh yeah distillery i said the driftless glen proof i said 115 uh that's our closest guess is 115 uh versus 122 uh age i said five year and i'd be for my proof for the 115 i was between 118 and 114 i was like let's just go 115 uh five year aged i said finished i said nope Bottle, I said this is a Driftless Glen five year single barrel rye. I gave it a score of a 9.1 A minus. Dang, yeah, that's pretty Better good. Better than too. my last score for um, Driftless Glen. So let's uh, let's reveal. What do you say? Yeah, I'm ready. I got it behind my monitor here. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Dang. Hey, oh, oh you is... should have said 114 on the proof. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I got a point or so. This is Hirsch. Dang. single barrel double oaked 100 will it Ooh. and this is at 112.3 so i might have got some points on the proof but we're gonna count the <laughs> scores and we'll be right back We're back. Hirsch single barrel, double oaked bourbon, apparently from Willet Distillery. Oh, uh, yes. So this is how you know, uh, by the way, uh, because Travers, baby Hirsch likes to cut their single barrels with a little bit of Barton. So Ooh. you got to look at the back and you got to look at the mash bills and you got to make sure that it is 72, 13, 15. And that's yeah. how you know that it is 100% Willet. If you see nice. another one in there, that's a Barton mash bill that was um, aged only like three years. Uh, that's how you know you're getting your Hirsch cut with a little bit of young Interesting. Barton. Yeah. Hey. All right. Let's go through the votes or the guesses. Cole said rye. Brian said bourbon. Brian got three points for that one. Uh, on the secondary grain, Cole said multi bees. Brian said rye. It is 15% multi bees, right? Compared yep, to 13% yep, yep. rye. 
Yep. So multi bees it is. Cole gets three points. We're tied at this point. Uh, I said Driftless Glen is the distillery. Brian said Woodford Reserve. Neither of us got that one. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Proof. I said 115. Brian said 122. It was 112. That means Cole is only a few off, so he gets two points. Boo. So the score now is five to three. Uh, we said age. It was right between our two, uh, literally, uh, right out of right, right out of age for both of us. I said five. Brian said thirteen. It was nine, both four away from each of us. So no one got points there. Um, uh, finished. We both said no, but it was double oak, so that counts as a finish either way. Uh, so we both got zero points there. Bottle. I said Driftless Glen five years single barrel rye. Brian said wood for reserve batch proof. Neither of us got that right. Uh, and that's it. A total five points to Cole, three points to Brian. Cole won this one. You know what the record is for this nine episode season so far? Two to Cole, two to Brian, five ties. So just to, <laughs> just we're going to put this out there that next season, we're going to clarify ties a little more. We're going to change the scoring. And we'll explain that next season. Yeah. Uh, but we'll also do a tiebreaker in general. Uh, yeah. Or how we can pull off more wins to one or the other. And we'll get to that next season. But we're going to episode 10 next week uh, to really break this tie unless we tie again. I was going to say, what if we tie? Yeah, it'll, it'll be crazy. But if we <laughs> don't, it'll be me. So anyway, um, thanks for joining us, guys. Hopefully, Brian has a chance next week. Uh, and keep an eye out. Who knows? Maybe Matt Madness will come come together before next week. Who uh, knows? And, and watch Brian and I destroy the competition. Yeah. Nicely. Very nicely. Uh, but this is practice. This is uh, what it's all about right here. Thanks for joining us for our competition. Thanks for joining us for the reentry buzz. We'll see you guys next time here on Chill Filtered's reentry buzz. So I might have got some points on the proof. I might have got some points on the proof.